Hi everybody, this is Bruce for GoTo and I'm with Groxio Learning, but I have a special guest for you today. I've got Sean Moriarty and he's the creator of the Axon Project and the co-creator of the NX Project as well. This is all things machine learning and Elixir. As many of you might know, Elixir has not always been known as a great language for machine learning. And so I, I think that you might have knocked Jose, the creator of Elixir, out of his chair when you wrote the first book about genetic algorithms and, and machine learning. I was really interested in genetic algorithms, evolutionary algorithms. And I was also really interested in Elixir, but Elixir is not a good language for doing any of this stuff. Uh, but I decided I was just gonna write uh, genetic algorithms in Elixir anyway. Anytime you try to, I guess, like penetrate a, a an additional market from a programming language perspective, you have to, I, I would say, like do it carefully and, and think hard about why someone would choose to use your language for uh, whatever it is that they're doing over what they're used to. We've got uh, everything from deep learning to traditional machine learning. Um, you can use you know, pre-trained transformers and a lot of pre-trained models uh, just directly from, from Elixir itself. And uh, our performance is pretty competitive with uh, the Python ecosystem. Elixir and Erlang, they have this concept of native implemented functions. Uh, they're essentially just a way you can write C bindings to some you know, native library and then get it to work with the Erlang virtual machine. Um, and one of the paths we could have taken was saying, okay, well, these libraries like TensorFlow and PyTorch, they offer C and C++ uh, libraries. We can just essentially build directly on top of that. And it would have been a pretty quick win. We, kind of, we could have gotten something up and running very quickly. The problem with marrying yourself to another ecosystem is you are uh, essentially blocked anytime they have an issue. I love the idea that that since you're snapping out this this whole numerical model and then, then kind of the the whole way that you think about storing tensors, right? Uh, that that these are concepts that are just kind of ripped out of the language and snapped in. And, and to make that serviceable, you did something fairly brilliant in there. And that's that's taking a, um, a traditional function definition and then offering an alternative implementation. Can you tell us just, just a little bit about DefN? It's a very interesting abstraction because it's something that just extends the language. Like it's not, it didn't require any, any changes to Elixir upstream. Elixir itself is just a really, really flexible language with uh, metaprogramming and some of the other things you can do. Um, so we didn't have to make any changes to Elixir upstream. It's just something that we could were able to natively support given what Elixir has. I am a, I would say, machine learning framework junkie. And I spend a lot of time just reading about different approaches to solving machine learning problems. People, I think, are excited about the prospect of using machine learning in Elixir, especially for companies that are using um, Elixir for their actual like deployment environment, their uh, backend services and stuff. Bumblebee can do a lot of the same things that the Hugging Face Transformers library can do. What are some of the things that Elixir does that may make it maybe even better for machine learning than some of the other machine learning languages. So some of the first benchmarks we had were, you know, we showed that the GPU compiled program with uh, NX and EXLA were like 4,000 times faster than anything you can do uh, natively in Elixir and sharing some of those benchmarks and people were like, this is crazy. That's, hey, I can't believe this is happening. Um, that was a lot of fun too. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.